The average person couldn't simply purchase some steel and lumber and build the Golden Gate Bridge or the Eiffel Tower. This is because years of planning and development go into these projects. This planning is done by highly qualified engineers. But sometimes even they make mistakes. Today, we're going to see a failed mission to Mars, a devastating disaster involving something you probably have in your kitchen right now, and a massive apartment building that simply tipped over one day. Hold on tight, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a closer look at the 10 craziest engineering mistakes. Number 10. Twist and Shout Suspension bridges represented a massive leap in engineering, and when the first one was erected in 1826, it was revolutionary. Still, they remained a lofty goal for many nations, especially relatively young ones such as the United States. It wasn't until 1842 when the wire bridge at Fairmount in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania was completed that these remarkable bridges made their way to the United States. Still, even at that time, they were reasonably rare. Even the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge wouldn't be completed for another 95 years. Needless to say, suspension bridges were the wave of the future. In September of 1938, Construction began on a bridge that would link Washington cities of Tacoma and the Kitsap Peninsula. A bridge would have to be a total length of 5,939 feet, with the longest span crossing 2,800 feet. It was an ambitious project, and even during construction, the possibility of pretty serious problems had become apparent. All suspension bridges are designed to be capable of subtle movements in order to allow for wind. But it became pretty clear early on that the Tacoma Bridge was moving a lot so much so that it earned the name Galloping Gertie among crews working there. Despite numerous measures to dampen the movement of Gertie, was still swaying considerably when it was officially opened as the Tacoma Narrows Bridge on July 1st, 1940. But tragically, just five months later on November 7th, it succumbed to a 40 mile per hour wind that caused it to sway and twist wildly before disintegrating into the Puget Sound. The disaster has been studied extensively and the engineering short sites that caused the collapse have set precedents for the construction of nearly all subsequent suspension bridges in the world. If you thought this was a precarious failure, wait until you see our number one entry, a much smaller and much deadlier engineering fail that cost several lives. Number 9. Martian Troubles Human beings have long been fascinated with space travel, and along the way there have been numerous catastrophic failures many of you probably already know about, like the Challenger explosion and the Soyuz 11. But today, we're going to have a look at a slightly less famous and admittedly less fatal engineering foley. Over the past several decades, most space exploration has focused on Mars over any of the other planets. This is because Mars is believed to be one of the few places that could potentially support life. In December of 1998, a craft called the Mars Climate Orbiter set off with the intent to insert itself into orbit around the red planet. Unfortunately, all did not go according to plan. The orbit made it to Mars, but when it got there, chaos ensued. In 1999, remote maneuvering began to get it into orbit position. When they tried to move it into its final position, as they did, everything suddenly went quiet, and the ground clue lost all signal from the craft. The problem occurred because the orbiter went behind Mars 49 seconds earlier than intended and never emerged. What happened to it remains unknown, but the cause of the error was soon discovered. The probe had been designed by two teams, one at NASA and a second at Lockheed Martin for everything to go right. These two organizations had to share precise measurements, which they did. The problem occurred when engineers from Lockheed Martin completed their calculations in Imperial units while the NASA team had used the metric system. Before we go on, like this video, pop the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell right now, or the ghost in your closet will manifest itself tonight. Number 8. The Millennium Mishap the second bridge on today's list, the Millennium Bridge was constructed ahead of the year 2000 to commemorate the arrival of a new millennium. The bridge was constructed in the UK and crossed the River Thames. The first pedestrian to cross the bridge did so in June of 2000, but almost immediately it became clear that something had gone very wrong. The bridge was immediately popular, with over 90,000 people crossing it the first day, and over 2,000 people on it at any given time. Very soon, the bridge began exhibiting a phenomenon called synchronous lateral excitation. Simply put, this means that the natural sway of each person's body as they walked caused a sway in the bridge. This sway caused other pedestrians to sway more, and soon, the bridge was swaying violently from side to side. Surprisingly, this phenomenon has been recognized since the mid-1800s, and was literally an oversight by rushed engineers trying to open the bridge in time for New Year's, a deadline they had missed anyways. Number 7. Slower Than Molasses In 1919, Boston was a bustling city with dreams of the future. 
That all came to a stop on January 15th, when a tank holding 2.3 million gallons of molasses burst open, flooding the street with a 35 mile per hour wave of thick, heavy molasses that claimed the lives of 21 people and injured a further 150. Because molasses was used in alcohol and prohibition was looming, employees and engineers ignored safety checks and filled the tank beyond capacity, knowing the risks and the results were deadly. Number 6. This Sky Skylab was a satellite weighing 75 metric tons that was launched into Earth's atmosphere in May of 1973. Unfortunately, engineers made several vital miscalculations about the launch, which resulted in the loss of craft sun shields and vital sensors. While some were recovered, the miscalculations cost over $3.6 million worth of taxpayer money. Oops. Number 5. Subway Submarines marked a key innovation for mankind, and the development of new technologies for them is a key consideration for engineers around the world. But in 2013, Spain developed the S-80 class submarine. It seemed like the dawn of a new age, and it only cost $4.5 billion to develop. Unfortunately, Spanish officials realized that a weight distribution problem meant that once the S-80 Plus had been submerged, it was incapable of resurfacing. The oversight cost billions and set Spain's naval goals behind at least six years. Number 4. Not so refreshing Tropicana While Tropicana Field looks impressive from the outside, this MLB field located in St. Petersburg, Florida was completed in 1990, but with some pretty major oversights by the project's engineering firm. Among the erroneous calculations is the fact that Tropicana Field is the only field with a non-retractable roof meaning it is the only venue in the United States where MLB players are incapable of hitting a home run, because the ball would have to hit the lighting system before it could enter or pass the stance. As recently as 2021, proposals are still being made to redesign or replace the field. Number 3. Low-Rise Flats The Shanghai Lotus Riverside Complex was constructed in 2009, but rather than creating a much-needed source of housing for the densely populated city, it instead drew international attention to the many corners being cut and China's urgency to expand and modernize. Construction on the large complex was nearly complete when engineers instructed workers to dig an underground garage. This was the final straw, and with the ground under the apartment weakened by the work, the entire tower literally fell off its foundation. This is why building codes are important. Number 2. Deeply Rooted Problems Deepwater Horizon was an offshore oil rig by Transocean, and was unreleased to BP Oil when disaster struck on 22nd April 2010. The Deepwater Horizon had been carefully constructed over an oil well that sat in the area bed about 4,993 below the surface, and when operational, extended about 18,000 feet into the rock below. On April 20th, 2010, something catastrophic happened. Natural gas bloated through a recently installed concrete core designed to seal the well for future use. It was later discovered that the concrete seal was nowhere near strong enough to contain the pressure. This wasn't necessarily an inherent fault of concrete as a material, but rather a specific method used during the casting of it. Because of the unique environments, the concrete was poured in. Engineers had chosen to have nitrous gas added to speed up the curing process. A side effect of the nitrogen addition was that it diluted the concrete, making it significantly weaker. Number 1. Flint O. One of the smallest structures on today's list, but possibly the one with the greatest death toll is actually a car. One of history's biggest automotive foley's and one of the most famously failed vehicle models was the Ford Pinto. At the time, vehicles were relatively expensive. After all, in 1971, the first Model T had only rolled off the production line a mere 62 years earlier. The world moves much slower then, but there is still a fierce demand for another, more affordable car for the masses. These demands led Ford to create the Pinto, a car that, while not so different from other cars of the era, faced several engineering flaws that made it a variable ticking time bomb, especially when involved in rear-end accidents. The Pinto's gas tank was located at the back of the vehicle, past the rear axle, and precariously close to the rear bumper. While it wasn't unheard of for other vehicles of the time to have their gas tanks behind the rear axle, the Pinto was designed to be cost-effective, and as a result, several designs elements were different the most important of which was that it had virtually no rear crumple zone to absorb the impact of a rear-end collision. The minor adjustment meant that when the Pinto was struck from behind, it almost immediately burst into flames. Because of its affordable price point, nearly 3 million of them were sold to consumers who had no comprehension of the risks. In total, thousands were severely injured, and 27 people died because of this crucial design flaw. This tragic time in automotive history has led to numerous industry-wide changes to safety regulations. 
Now if they could just keep Porsches from bursting into flames on impact. That's all for 10 crazy engineering mistakes. Which one was your favorite? Can you think of a worse engineering mistake? Let us know in the comments.